Well, when you got to the finals, you know there was the best bucking horses in the United States and Canada, and they brought them down there, and they were all fresh, and they they really bucked. I mean, you you really had to kind of charging and and to make a qualified ride on them, and they was all fresh and fat and feeling good. They hadn't been hauled all summer like they were, and uh, seems like I just did better when a horse bucked better, and. During the summer when one had kind of quit on me and take off, I, I seemed like I kind of slacked off too. But when it came to, you know, like a short go around or somewhere, Cheyenne, Houston and all of them, and, and then at the national finals, you got on the cream of the crop and, and I just seemed to catch another gear when, when I was there. And so it worked out good for me. Well, and I, I think the vibe, like you saying, catching another gear, that that's something to me like especially going with the Saint Embrace Unknown, the feeling of the environment in that situation would you say was different than like knowing that you were about to get on, you know, maybe a horse of the year or something, would that change your mindset going into the round or Oh yeah, when you got on three bars of Kessler's or Stormy Weather of uh, Tommy Steiner's, you know, you knew that You better be you packing. Better you better be ready because they were going to give it all they had. And yes, sir. So, you know, and, and again, it's that that uh, embrace the unknown. I mean, you just had to you just had to come a charging and it's put a little like extra rosin a in little, your mitt. Right. <laughs> and, uh,